This right here is the world's largest truck, AKA Monster Max, built by this gentleman right here. You've probably heard of him, Whistling Diesel. And today I'm going to be building it out of Lego. So without further ado, let's get started. So above the massive tires and jacked up suspension that Monster Max has, you'll basically find a 2006, I believe, Chevy Silverado sitting on the top. And that's basically the basis of the build. And it's also gonna be the basis of my build. And well, luckily for me, I actually already designed this exact truck a while ago actually so all i really need to do now is convert this to a crew cab short bed as that is what monster max is and then we'll go from there adding on all the rest of the detail So the color's been changed to olive green. And yeah, I gotta admit that was quite a bit harder than I would have expected due to a little something called parts availability. Bottom line is Lego doesn't actually make very many parts in olive green. So I had to make a few compromises in the design, but the general design remains the same and that's mostly what matters. So all we need to do now is we'll add in these small details. And then of course the lift kit. All right, so the digital build is all complete. And by the way, this was built with a software called Brickling Studio. I get a lot of comments asking me what it is. And yeah, it's that. It's also free, so I highly recommend it. Not sponsored or anything, but just highly recommend it if you don't have like actual parts to build out of. But uh, anyways, it's actually been a month since I finished this digital design and I've actually got all the parts in and ready to be built. So without further ado, I mean, let's just get to it. After almost two months of work, we finally have it here, Monster Max 2 in all of its glory. Now this one was built off of Monster Max 2, so the upgraded version with even larger tires and suspension, and as it sits, it's actually the world's largest truck. Now I fit in as much suspension details as I possibly could in this truck, and as it sits, it actually has working shock absorbers. They are a little bit stiff for the truck, but nonetheless, it is a very nice feature to have. I've also included the dual missile fuel tanks on both sides of the truck here. And then as we move up front, we've also got the classic spiked front bumper and the broken right headlight, which is a nice Easter egg that the real truck also has. Moving up here, we've got dual hood stacks as well as a light bar up top. 
And you can't forget the red air horn that was featured in one of Whistling Diesel's videos. And both the light bar and the air horn are attached to this roof rack up top made with two ladder pieces. And then in the bed, we've got two more tanks. And then under these tanks, you can actually fold them away to reveal the second engine that Monster Max has. Because yes, it does have two engines. I mean, you guys probably know that if you're watching this video already. But it is a very cool feature and something that I just had to add. And so that's really all the main details of this truck. You know, one of my favorite parts is definitely the wheels down here, which, by the way, delayed this video by approximately two weeks because the original wheels that got delivered to me were these right here, which are the incorrect kind, and I just needed to have the right ones. So yeah, that was a little bit of an issue, but you know, that's just how it goes when ordering parts off of Bricklink. And I gotta say, this is definitely one of my favorite trucks yet. Comment if you want me to send this to Whistling Diesel himself. I'm not even gonna lie. I doubt this truck will last like within 3 seconds of him touching it. You know, it is a very durable design compared to my standards, but obviously, yeah, I don't even know if he'll see it or anything. So, but yeah, do let me know if you want me to send it to him. And so, with that all said, it's about time to wrap up this video. I really hope you guys liked seeing the whole process of me building this. And also, it does look great going next to my other Whistling Diesel truck. Yep, this is the Toyota Hilux, which by the way, looks absolutely tiny next to this. It's just a nice way to visualize the scale, you know, the, the wheel is like bigger than this whole truck i unfortunately won't be doing a tutorial on this particular truck because it's very one of a kind and something that would be kind of hard for me to make a tutorial of but i do definitely encourage you guys to take inspiration from this model if you decide to build you know your own rendition of monster max and with that all said thank you everybody so much for watching um let do let me know if you want me to send this to Cody himself, aka Whistling Diesel, and also feel free to suggest any other trucks or cars you want me to build in the comment section below. So thanks everybody once again, and I'll see you in the next one.